Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. You join us from a gloriously sunny London, although it's only about four degrees. That's gotta be just in the low 40s Fahrenheit for our American friends. Looking over the beautiful Canary Wharf skyscrapers out here on the Thames path, but we have got short sleeves and more importantly, we've got the shorts on with the pink gloves, of course. But we've got lots to chat about today. We've got the new Hoka Bondi X's out for their first run. So I'm gonna give you all my thoughts on that, their facts and figures. Then we're gonna have a chat about the running half. What are we gonna do on Sunday? And all the kit for the race day as well. And always, as always, guys, I say, let me know how you're going with your running. Right, we're gonna head out. We're about two and a half K into the run. We're gonna do some more easy miles and we're gonna go in to some reps and stuff out there to put these through their pace and get ready dial that pace dialed in for the weekend as well right guys hope you well sit back relax let's get this done all right guys first little test take these out to speed with some strides Guys, it's Friday today, Reading half on Sunday. Are you gonna be there? Be great to see some of you. Yeah, I'm really not sure what to do. Obviously coming back from illness, probably sensible to uh, not go too fast. But uh, at the same time, I feel absolutely fine. So you wanna go out and have some fun. Gonna head out about 3.50 to four minute K pace. So hopefully around about that 1.21-ish goal. If I'm feeling better, if I'm feeling all right in the last 5K, I'll pick it up. But yeah, I don't think there's much point going out at like 1.30 pace or something. Um, because yeah, it's not really going to achieve that much. So not like if absolute all in, but 95%. Be sensible, have some fun, get back racing again, get on a start line, put the kit on, feel good in the sunshine. At one of the UK's best premier marathons. So yeah, can't wait, we'll take half marathons, Sarah's always there to correct me. We'll take the GoPro along, bring Reading half marathon to the world. Right Sarah, let's crack on. We're gonna practice some of that pace now and see how it looks in the Hoka Rocket X's, Rocket X, Bondi X. Halfway through the run, we're out now at the Thames Barrier, basically built to stop London flooding when we have a lot of rain, which we do have a lot of rain. Um, yeah, just having a quick drink, just the usual orange juice and water. And yeah, let's have a chat about kit for the Reading Half Marathon. Oh, sweat dripping in my eyes. Even though it's crispy cold today. Um, yeah, we're gonna be wearing the all new Ben Park Saw Elite Singlet collaboration with Saw running the best, well, best as in high quality running garments you can buy is now on the website. I think we're gonna go for the new Vaporfly, the color I had on in the last video, uh, the shoe I got for the London Marathon, which we couldn't run, but yeah, just paired perfectly. Perfect half marathon shoe. Obviously have the pink Ron Hill gloves, you get the Saw shorts on, and yeah, probably gonna take a couple of gels out with me. Probably won't need them, but you don't know how hard it's gonna be when I'm not trying to pace you some Morton gels out there. Gonna go with probably this hat as well, the new nighttime edition of the Ben Parks running hat. And finally, all the, the small bits, we're gonna, the run to wear, underwear that I wear for my runs, and I've got some new sore socks, which I started wearing as well, and they're super comfortable. Right, let's get the rest of this run done, about seven and a half K back in to Greenwich. Gonna take it nice and easy, pretty slow and a little bit of steady pace. With all these reviews, these initial things, we've done the strides, we've done the half marathon pace, now we're gonna do a little bit of steady pace and easy pace the way back, and then we'll have our final thoughts on that when we get back to the Cutty Sark along the Thames in Greenwich. So we'll see you there. Right 
Right guys, we're at 2K from home, so I thought let's just have a quick summary chat about this shoe, what it's all about. Yeah, Hoka, they've taken the Bondi model, the most plush, the most max cushion shoe, and whacked a carbon plate in it. It's a little bit of an odd combination, but I do really like the way that a lot of shoe manufacturers are just trying out new things. I suppose Adidas did it with that Prime X that you saw on the channel not so long ago. And yeah, it does, does it work, doesn't it work? Or we'll come on to that in a minute. Firstly, here's all the facts and figures about the shoe we'll put them up on the screen but essentially 180 pounds over 200 dollars that's a lot of cash for just an everyday shoe in my opinion um yeah about five mil um heel to toe drop there as well but yeah let's have a quick chat about the positives we've only done this one run in them this is a little bit of a first impression so we'll have a proper dedicated review coming up very soon so first things first, it is a nice and responsive shoe. Hocus foams are not the best for me. I really don't get on with them that well. But the combination of that maximum cushion and the carbon plate is working really nicely. That, the way that the Carbon X came out, it was just a bit dead, but adding that little bit more foam, really nice responsive, getting a really nice plush ride. But when you take it up to speed, that marathon pace, half marathon pace, it felt nice. It turned over really well. For me, this is a really solid long run shoe option. The second positive, I think it's just a nice looking shoe. Nice colorway, good colors. It feels comfortable when you put it on. Nice and breathable as well. Let's get on to the negatives. Sorry guys, there's quite a few. The reason I've stopped here 2K from home is I want to take this shoe off and jump on Sarah's bike to get in. Because yeah, so much heel slip in this. And I've got a race on Sunday and the my Achilles is getting worn away by the amount that my that the ankle is slipping around in this shoe at pace. It's just not good. I'm going to take it off and either I'm walking home or Sarah's walking home unfortunately but we haven't got far to go. So heel slip, a massive big negative there. The tongue on the shoe is too short. I can't use the top eyelet to lock that shoe down even more. Everything's just moving around too much. The length of the shoe feels nice. It's a good width and stuff. I think yeah true to size for me is all right but yeah just too much just moving around in that heel. It's just not comfortable and I'm just worried that's going to turn into a bliss already and yeah as I say I've got a race that I need to get ready for I can't risk it and finally for a shoe like this which is built really as that everyday shoe that you can do a little bit of speed work in as well 180 pounds it's just too much a lot of shoe manufacturers are just the prices are just going so high at the moment for an everyday member of the public 180 pounds on a pair of shoes that's not affordable it's not even remotely affordable I like bulked at the price of using that buying this shoe for this review hopefully i'll make some of it back uh through the ad revenue on youtube but yeah really i'm going to probably sell it try and recoup it and buy something else but there we go that's what people are doing is it is it something i'd recommend at the moment no i can't say that i can't even finish my run in this shoe ridiculously Right guys, I've managed to grab Sarah's bike so I can get home. She's going out on her run. How far are you going, Sarah? Just like 6k, like four miles. Four miles. Pace, nice and easy. Easy run. 9.30 pace. Yeah. Right. Bye. See you in a bit, guys. See you in a bit, Sarah even. <laughs> so, yeah, see you guys in a bit because we'll be out at Reading Half Marathon. As I've said, hopefully see a lot of you guys there. Cannot wait. Let's get onto the cycle path. And uh, I've never done this before. How do, maybe I'll become a cyclist uh, vlogger. Who knows? Anyway, Bondi X is pretty rubbish, but we're going to give them another bit of a second chance. Um, yeah, just when I don't have an important race. Ankle, ankle that Achilles getting really sore, so not very nice. But guys, thank you so much for following. Thank you to all the legends here on YouTube supporting and on Patreon as well. It means so much to me and Sarah to be able to make these videos for you guys. And yeah, just buy all the shoes completely ourselves, as we always do, completely independently to give you completely honest advice. Right, that's it guys. I need to stop so I can do my thumbs. We'll see you very soon in the next one. Please check out the website, the latest training plans, all the gear for you guys as well on there. Hats, buffs and all that sort of stuff. So lots of love. We'll see you on the start line very soon. Take care and keep on getting it done.